Michael Norman is the most talented loser I've ever witnessed in a whole sport of track and field. He has more talent than everybody in the 400. He has more foot speed than everybody in the 400. The man ran 9-8. He ran 19-7. He ran 43-4. But finished dead last in the Olympic final. Been to two Olympic Games. Haven't medaled at either in open 400. Multiple world championships. Every broken clock is right at least twice a day. He got one and the rest of them he was rolled. Some not even making a final. What's good everybody? It's the go Aaron Brown. And before this video start, be sure to follow me on Instagram. It's linked down below in the description. And also, subscribe to my channel. And if you appreciate the videos I make, be sure to hit the thanks button right above the comment section. Let's jump straight into it. We just witnessed the 400 meter dash final at the Paris Olympics where Quincy Hall went out and dropped a bomb on the field. He ran one of the fastest times in history, 43-40. Matthew Hudson Smith ran 43-4 as well. And then the guy from Zambia, he ran 43-7. And this was one of the craziest finals of all time because five people have broke 44 seconds. And this is the first time 43 seconds have not got a medal at any championship ever. But the most interesting and eye-watering performance about this whole final was Michael Norman. Michael Norman going into this final had the fastest PR out of everybody. And he showed up and literally ran my time. I ran 45 in a 400. Before a guy who opened up his season 44-2 and ran multiple low 44s this year, he's proven that he's, he's healthy, he's not injured, and he was on a tangent to show that he was going to not be like he usually is in the past. But I'm a firm believer of when someone shows you who they are, believe them. And I felt it was kind of interesting when I seen so many people do predictions for the 400 and not a single person put Michael Norman in their top three, despite him having one of the fastest, not even one of, the fastest PR out of the whole field. I seen Michael Norman open up his season dominating against college kids and then went and dominated against some more college kids. But then when it came to the professionals at the USATF championship meet, despite him being the most talented in the field, Quincy Hall wanted it more, so he went out there and took it. And Michael Norman is just like, he's super complacent or something. I feel like he's really, really soft, if I'm being 100% honest with you. He's the most talented guy, but he's the softest guy, and mentally he seems like he's the weakest. Because how, how the hell does a guy who runs 43-4 show up and not even get a medal, not even get a medal, not even get top five? You get dead last in the final. Now, I can see if this was just a out of the ordinary performance for Michael Norman, but this is right up his alley to run fast all year and then get to the championship and lay a crazy egg. And he actually had me believing that this year was actually his year. I knew better. That's why I didn't have him anywhere near a podium um, with my predictions. But something is seriously, seriously wrong with Michael Norman. I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure if he even knows what it is, but I think he definitely should be evaluated for something because either has some type of chronic injury that no one ever knows about or something mentally is off because for him to show up to two Olympic games being the fastest guy in the field and for him to leave with no medal is honestly ridiculous. I feel like Michael Norman's career just ended today and it's time for him to retire because you not only done this one time before, not two times, three, four times. Once you get to three, four times, this is not an accident. This is just a pattern. And it's damn near like, I know some people are allergic to seafood. Some people are allergic to shellfish. Some people are allergic to nuts. But it seems like Michael Norman is allergic to performing well at major championships. And I know last year, Nike made him go train with John Smith. And then he ended up going back to USC and Quincy Watts. But I feel like instead of training for track, Michael Norman needs to take that two, three year period and sit out while he's transferring alliances to Japan. His mother's from Japan, and I feel like he would do way better in Japan. He would be a big star in Japan, getting eighth place, running Aaron Brown time. See, people like to say that I'm rolled, and I'm not the one to argue to say that I'm not rolled. But despite me running 45 in a 400, I wouldn't show up to the Olympics and run 45. That's just me. I'll go out there and play hurt before I go out there and run 45 in a USA uniform with a 43-second PR, and I'm healthy. Yeah, I simply don't know what the hell is up with Michael Norman mentally, but something is off. And I genuinely believe that this performance was so, so bad. Michael Norman went out there and crashed out and ran his rounds backwards. He ran 44-1 the first round and just got worse each round. 
this goes to show me that Michael Norman is pathetic. And this performance was so bad to the fact where I believe that he does not deserve a spot on a 4x4. And it hurts me to say this, but I'd much rather see Noah Lyles run a 4x4 than Michael Norman. Because I feel like Noah Lyles can run faster than what Michael Norman would do. Now, in my opinion, I feel like Michael Norman is a relay merchant, but this is pathetic. He doesn't even deserve to get a medal from this Olympics after what he just went out there and did. I think he deserves to be sent home in tears, empty-handed, because he simply doesn't deserve anything after this performance that he just went out there and did. 45-6 at the Olympic Games final. But y'all let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. Am I tripping or is Michael Norman just not that guy and he's soft?